over the next three days, we're going to wrap up this virtual presentation skills training course. What you're going to get is mindset and habits. You, you've got all the skills you need. Just go back and keep watching those original three dozen videos. This is more about creating the right mindset. What we're going to start with in this tip is your most important tool to become a proficient and excellent online presenter at a much faster rate. And that tool is recordings. This is a tool that I've used with live speakers for years. I started using it last year when I was doing more and more virtual presentations. It is the fastest way to growth. It's very simple to use. Just hit record and give your presentation. Unlike live speaking, where you need an audience for reaction to really get a feel for how you're doing, you don't need that with virtual. Just make the recording and then go back and study that recording. Now, there are three key ways to study to get the most out of it. Number one is to watch the video with the sound on. Number two, watch the video with the sound off. Number three, listen to the recording. Don't watch the video. Why would you do this? because you have a different perspective with each way. When you're just watching and not listening, you may pick up some irritating habits that you have. When you're listening but not watching, you may pick up some sounds that you make, some what we call killer fillers. You need to be aware of those. Get feedback from others without a doubt because we all need a different perspective. You've heard me say that. You don't, I don't need to belabor that point. But this is the way you will learn the quickest. Whenever I give people feedback after they've watched their videos, they much more quickly see what I'm talking about and they can make the change. Here's the most important tip to give you with regard to watching and reviewing your videos. Ask this question first. What did I do well? Most people have a tendency as soon as they're done to beat themselves up. Oh my gosh, I did this. I made that mistake. I forgot to tell that story. I didn't make that point. Look you're going to do that. That's part of the process. The reason you ask yourself that question, what did I do well, is not just to give yourself an ego boost or a pat on the back. You need to know what you're doing well, what's effective, because if you don't, you'll stop doing it. Right? It's like any good habit. We need to be reminded of it. And that's why it helps to have a second pair of eyes to watch for you also. So start with that question. Then go to your list of what can I do to improve? I'm sure the list is long. It was for me when I first started doing this. The key to improving is not to try to change everything at once. If you've got a list that's 15 long, do not try to change all those at once. You've heard me say this before. Pick the top one or two, work on those. When you feel like you're getting proficient at those, go to the next one. Don't wait till you're 100% good at them either because you're always going to improve. But when you feel like you've got about 75 to 80% improvement, then go for the next one. Just keep doing that. That's how you build the skill. So record yourself, review it, remind yourself what you do well, then go for the improvement. I look forward to talking with you in tip number 37.